Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I welcome you all for a new day like this. Today is 10th of May. And uh, I believe that God is faithful and God has been so faithful and God will continue to be faithful. At least we are alive today, as long as we are alive and as long as God remains, we will continue to press further and we will continue to was great and greater. Today is a wonderful day, especially for all our mothers in the world. Today is a great day for all our mothers and all our women. We don't only really celebrate mothers only, we celebrate, in fact, all the women, because today is their day. Remember, every woman has been destined to become a mother. It doesn't matter whether there is fruit of womb or not. Every woman, they are all made to be a mother. So every woman automatically is a mother. So I want us to unite our spirit today to celebrate our mothers. Remember, if not because of your mother, I don't think you will be here today. I don't think you will be born and be, become a celebrity today but because of the work of the mothers that is why we are here today so today is the day of mothers we need to unite our spirit pray for them you know send greetings to them share to them and let them know how much you love them mothers all over the whole world. it doesn't matter whether you still your mother is still alive or not there is someone represent your mother in your life even right now you may not have your own biological mother, but there is somebody that is representing your mother. It's either your wife, it's either your fiance, it's either a close friend, a female close friend, you know, that always care about you. It's either also your spiritual mothers. For example, your mothers in the Lord. These are your mothers. So when we talk about mothers, it's not only restricted from your biological mother. After all, the one who does not have mother now still have a mother one way or the other. There is somebody encouraging your life every day. There is somebody also speaking into your life. Now these are your mothers. I want you to be aware of that. Okay, so let's unite our spirit today. Let us unite our heart today to celebrate mothers. I want to wish mothers, wish them happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and all the viewers all over the whole world. Anywhere you are representing, anywhere you are right now, from the east part of the globe, from the west, from the north, from the south, I declare today a joy establishment in your life. All the female around the whole world, whether you are a girl, you are a mother, as long as you are a woman, I decree upon your life that today mark the beginning of the joy of the Lord in your life. Today mark the beginning of good things happening in your life. Today mark the beginning of great and mighty things happening around you. Today mark the beginning of peace in your life and in everything that surrounded you. As long as you are a woman, you represent as a mother. If you are not a mother now, I know within a short time, you will become a mother. I decree upon your life, today mark eternal peace in your life. Today mark great and goodness in your life. To them mark establishment in your life. Anything that surrounded you that you are not able to defeat, you are not able to conquer, you are not able to overcome. I decree by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, those things they are giving away right now. In the name of Jesus, I 
as we declare the word of God today, as all the viewers all over the whole world, including FCCI members, anywhere you are, you are going to connect into mother's anointing. Every mother carry an anointing. They carry anointing to execute, to transact the responsibility delegated to them. Every woman have anointing. They have triple and multiple anointing. The anointing to render service. The anointing of management. The anointing to what's greater. The anointing to achieve aim. The anointing to help out things and work things out. And as we connect into the anointing of mothers today, I decree wherever you are, from today, may multiple anointing come upon your life. It doesn't matter you are a man, you are a boy, you are a female, you are a man, you are a woman, you are whatever. I decree multiple anointing. The anointing of mother shall come upon everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing of mothers, it shall be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that make people never get tired. Mothers cannot easily get tired. They cannot easily give up. That anointing today, it is part of you today. That anointing is for you. I decree and I declare upon your life, wherever you are, as you join to celebrate mothers, celebration shall not cease in your life. Peace shall remain in your life. Every man that assembled to celebrate mothers, every youngest young man that assembled to celebrate mothers, I decree upon your life the anointing, the blessing, the favor of mothers. It shall be your portion today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you with decree and declare that today mark the beginning of joy in every home that is shattered. Every home that there is no peace, every mother that have no peace, from today, peace of God be upon you. Peace of the Lord be upon your home. Peace of God be upon your family. Peace of God be upon your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, every family that is not making impact, every family that have been struggling, Today, by the reason of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, it is over. It is over. It is over. It is over. Every family that have scattered today, I unite that family by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. This week shall be a week of favor, a week of turning around, a week of reconnection, a week of achievement. A week of manifestation of the promises of God upon as many who are the viewers all over the whole world. Wherever you are right now, I decree and I declare upon your life. As you enter this new week, as you enter this new week, you shall celebrate. 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 You shall celebrate, you shall celebrate, you shall celebrate, you shall celebrate, you shall celebrate. In the name of Jesus Christ, the favor of God shall locate you. No more entanglement in your life. No more trouble in your life. No more struggle in your life. Nothing shall take away the joy of the Lord upon your life anymore. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree. Now we're going to pray. We're going to take some prayer. Wherever you are right now, join me as we're going to pray. First of all, I want to thank God for His grace and His mercies upon your life. Wherever you are, just thank Him and ask the Lord that His mercy and His grace continue to work greater upon your life. Just thank Him and appreciate Him. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We worship you, Lord. Thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for as many who are here today and who join this service to celebrate mothers around the whole world and also to celebrate themselves because whenever you celebrate, whenever you celebrate someone, automatically you are celebrating yourself. Father, we thank you for the privilege given to all to assemble again today to worship you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 
Amen. Amen. Let's confess our sin. Confess all the iniquities. Every area you know that something has gone wrong. You know that something has gone wrong. I want you to confess your sin right now. Confess your iniquity. Confess your sin. Ask the Lord to forgive you from every sin of unrighteousness. Ask the Lord to cleanse you. Ask the Lord to forgive you from the iniquity and from all the atrocity. Ask the Lord for mercy. Lord, show your children mercy. Show God as many who believe in you and who trust in you. Show them grace. Show them mercy. Let your mercy that endures forever, let that mercy be upon your children, Lord. Let the mercy that endures forever, let that mercy, let it be their portion. Father, oh God, cleanse us, cleanse our heart. You are being so merciful. You have been so gracious. Your mercy endures forever. Your loving kindness, faithfulness endures forever. As many, O oh God, who are viewers all over the whole world, you are cleansed. May God forgive all your iniquities and all your sins. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Ask the Lord to give you more strength. Ask the Lord to give you more strength. The Bible says through strength we can do all things. Philippians 4.13 he said, through Christ that give us strength, we can do all things. Just begin to ask God to give you the strength to strengthen you more. If you have the strength of God, you can do all things. You can do anything and He will surely give result. Ask the Lord to empower you. Ask the Lord to give you strength. Ask the Lord to give you more grace. Ask the Lord to give you more power. Ask the Lord to give you more of His power and more strength begin to pray right now begin to pray and ask the lord father lord baptize us oh god with fresh fresh anointing fresh strength as many and as viewers wherever you are right now receive the strength of god receive the power receive the spirit in jesus mighty name we pray father we dedicate this service to your hands we ask the Lord you speak to us, speak to especially mothers, wherever they are, speak to them. You are God of all flesh. There is nothing that you cannot do. With you, all things are possible. Father Lord, through your word, may we receive your blessing. May we receive strength. May we receive fresh anointing. Through your word, O oh God, may you, O oh God, rebrand us. May you give us the enablement to stay in your word and to act by your word and be not only a hearer, but also be a doer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I welcome you all today. It's a wonderful day. Odilia, I welcome you. Nima Ravilo, I welcome you. Uh, Pastor, Pastor Townsend, I welcome you. In the name of Jesus, Obase Benjamin. You are welcome to the platform, Francis Goswe. May God bless you all. As many who join the service, may God bless you all. May God increase you all. May God increase. Daniel Lewis Evis, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for encouraging the platform. Thank you all that joined the service. Brother Austin, I pray that God will favor you all. May God increase you all. And the Ike Wanko, Brother Ralph. Andrew Charles, may God bless you all, may God bless you all, may God bless you all, may God increase. Emilia Bella, God bless you, Mickey Punch, God bless you, Akachi, Onyedibe, may God bless you, may God increase you all. May God continue to give you your heart desire, divine joy. May God bless you, Sister Julie. God bless you all for joining our service today and for being a part. Brother Allah, God bless you. God bless you all, may God increase you all. Bet me, this is your season. You will surely celebrate. Chine do Felis, may God give you breakthrough this week. May God give you all breakthrough this week. Brother Anthony, may God give you breakthrough this week. You are blessed. 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 You all are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are right now, I locate you with miracle. Wherever you are right now. Bet me, you will surely testify because God have assigned it. God have assigned miracle for you this week. You will testify in this new week. You will have a strange miracle, an un unexpected miracle. Eda Gabriel, 
this is your week chine do god mean this is your week amadi this is your week this is your week as many who join this service just keep in your faith right now this week is your week of celebration you will surely celebrate you will surely celebrate as i declare by the anointing of god in the name of jesus austin chukuka kolechi you will surely celebrate you will surely celebrate this week this is your week in the name of jesus christ receive it right now wherever you are in jesus mighty name we pray and i declare amen today is mother's day all the mothers around the whole world happy mother's day today is a day of joy we love you all all the mothers in the whole world the mothers of fcci i love you all i and my wife and entire member of fcci and all the whole that join in this platform we say we love all the whole mothers we love you all and may god bless you all in the name of jesus happy mother's day today is a day of your blessing i want you to just focus and connect to what god is going to speak into your life remember no matter who you are somebody need to speak into your life if you are a type who do not allow anyone to speak into his or her life you can never grow and you will always end up living in error every man every person every woman you must have who speak into your life you must have those who counsel you through the word of god or through wisdom those who speak advice into your life because we are human beings you must make mistake because we are imperfect so now if you are a type of person who is still being proud and arrogant whether you are a woman whether you are a man and you feel that nobody can speak into your life i tell you truth you are destroying your life you are not doing well you are not doing your life something good because somebody must speak into our life even though as a pastor somebody must speak into pastor's life somebody must speak into pope life somebody must speak into bishop life you see it so everywhere and everyone somebody must speak into your life because god uses somebody to speak have you seen god no god cannot many people say they hear the voice they hear the voice god only speak to you through voice or through ministration through prophetic or whatever or dream or revelation if there is an assignment or there is a message that he want to send to you but when it come to our own advice and counsel in order to align our life with god somebody have to speak into our life because the word that people speak into our life bring fruit and bring the beauty of God into our life. So I want you to always hunger for somebody to speak into your life. That is how you grow in knowledge. That's how you grow in wisdom. So they who refuse that nobody will speak into their life, the Bible says that those who are proud, they will surely fall and they will not rise again. You see, but the humble, God hum exalt the humble. He prosper them. He make them grow and he make them always prosper. But those who are not humble, who are proud, they will always go down. They will always fall. But that shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I am taking you to the book of Mark chapter 15 verse 21 to 28. If you are there, I want you to open your Bible with me. And as I'm going to read, if you can read with me, that will be also very great. Open your Bible, the book of Mark, chapter 15. Mark, chapter 15. Mark. Are you there? Mark chapter 15, are you there? Oh, sorry, go to book of Matthew chapter 15. I made a mistake. Sorry, sorry. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. 
Matthew chapter 15. It is Matthew chapter 15, not Mark. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Sorry, 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 sorry. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Are you there? Sorry, 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 sorry. I have to edit it again. Just hold on for a while. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21 to 28. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Okay, Matthew chapter 15. <clears throat> if you are there, say, I am there. Jesus. Let's read the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 21 to 28. He said, Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaanite came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, how mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously versed with a devil. 23. And he said, But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send this woman away, for she cried after us. 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lordship of the house of Israel. 25. And then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. 26. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. 27. And she said, True, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. From that very hour. Her daughter was made whole from that very hour. I want to speak a message which I title, You Can Still Work It Out. 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 Now, this place we read, it talk about a Canaanite woman or a woman of Seraphica woman. It's this woman had a child that was possessed with evil spirit. She had a problem. She is a mother, and she has a problem. And this problem is a problem of family issues. The thing that have been causing trouble in her home. And she heard that Jesus was around. And she came with the child, crying after them and after the disciples. But they tried to suppress her, they tried to send her away. They try to chase her out. But the more they chase her out, the more she press on. The more she work it out to make sure that she get her miracle and get her breakthrough. The more she press forward and press harder to make sure that she had her breakthrough. And the Bible said that he continued to cry even when Jesus was silent. Jesus kept adamant to her. But yet, she pressed for them. And to the extent, Jesus said to the disciples, Don't send her away, for I came for the Lordship. Church and viewers all over the whole world, I want you to understand, no matter what you are going through, 
no matter the trouble you are home, no matter the trouble you are business, no matter the trouble that surrounded you, Jesus came for you. He came to give hope. He came to make things beautiful for you. Jesus came that you may have life, that you may have peace, that you may have blessings, that you may have favor. Jesus came that you may have restoration. Jesus came to unite your family. He came to bring peace into your family, into your life. He came to bring joy and to bring blessing into your life, into your business, and into your entire family. If you believe it today, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus came for you. So no matter the trouble, no matter what is happening in your life, in your marriage, those who are in relationship, in your relationship, those who are doing business, Jesus came to bring restoration. Jesus is here to give you total restoration. And I prophesy into your life, that after today a canter, you and your entire family shall have peace. You and your entire family shall receive favor. You and your entire family shall reunite again. You and your entire family, you shall receive the blessings that make it rich and add no sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, the place that we read, it was talking about a mother of faith. Mothers who can still walk out things. Women, people who can still walk out things. My brothers and my sisters, you can still walk things out. You have the opportunity, you have the privilege. There is faith that we have in Christ. That is why Philippians 4.13 is a true Christ that gives you strength. You can do all things. You can walk things out. You can still walk that thing out. You can still make it. You can still bring restoration. God can still use you to bring restoration. Remember that each time that God wants to do anything, one, you are needed. Two, another person is needed that will bring another new thing into your life. But your cooperation is needed. Then as an instrument of divine glory, divine peace, and divine blessings of God, as you join this service today, you are an instrument of divine blessings of God. I decree and I declare upon your life, God will use you to bring total peace and total restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, today's service you will have supernatural encounter in your life, in your marriage, in your entire family. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Remember, I am speaking of you can still work this out. You can still work it out, my brothers, my sisters. You can still work out that difficulties. You can still work out that area of your marriage that there is trouble. You can still work this out. That entanglement, you can still work this out. Those places that things are not going the way it should be, you can still work things out. How do you work it out? By the strength of God, by the spirit of God, by the power of God, by the help of God, you can still work things out. I prophesy into your life now, anywhere you are, receive, receive the strength, receive the power, receive the grace to work things out. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you for this wonderful grace upon your children and upon as many who join this service today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mothers, listen to me carefully. You can still work things out. No matter the trouble, no matter the struggle, no matter the entanglement, no matter the difficulties, no matter whatever you are going through as a mother, either you are going through a hard time because of the children, 
that surrounded you, you are going through hard time because of husband, you are going through hard time because of yourself or because of wanting on the other. I bet you and I tell you by the power of the Holy Ghost, today freedom has come into your life. Today blessings of God has come into your life and you will experience it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Mothers are very, very important in our life. They play vital roles. They play a multiple task. That is why everyone should respect and honor mothers. When you read your Bible, you can see the role of mothers. You see, if not because of mothers, you discover that we wouldn't have exist. Nobody would have born us, uh, uh, would have, you know, make us exist. Why? Because of mothers. Mothers play all kind of tasks and all kind of role in the family. That's why they have triple anointing. They have triple strength. You see, they have triple. Everything they do is all about in a triple and a multitask. That's what they do. So now I want you to understand that women or mothers, they are very very important they need to be honored they need to be celebrated they need to be respected mothers need to rejoice with we need to rejoice with them because they play a lot of role they need to take care of themselves they need to take care of their husband they need to take care of the children they need to take care of their house they need to take care of business they need to take care of many things you can see so many roles that we play. You see, men, we just go outside. They just only come in. Yes, I know that man is the source of the income. But yet, women, women, they play a lot of role. They play a lot of role. Mothers, they play a lot of role. Remember, you as a man or as a father, if you are not able to provide for food or provide money, yet, the mother, they will still strive. They will still struggle. They will still make way. They will still find a way to put food in the table. They will still find alternative. They will still find solution to make sure that children, that they eat, to make sure that the children are well fed and the well-being of the children, and to make sure that the house in order. These are the tax of mothers. Not even men and not even fathers. So you have to celebrate mothers. Celebrate them. You that is in, you are in, you are here right now. You have grown up. If they tell you how your mother managed to bring you up from the age one until now, you won't, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how your mother managed to raise you up from the village. How your mother managed to raise you where there is no father. And where there is no money. Is it not a time to recognize their important role, to celebrate with them? Mothers are very, very vital and very important. They play vital role, they play significant role into our life and into this earth. I tell you today, I help us, as the Bible said in the book of Genesis, but yet they are not only helpers. Help us. They are always in multitask. They are always in multiple role play. And I want to take you into the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. You see how you know, we need to appreciate women. Even though the Bible says that God gave us women as a helper. Yet. Remember, when a man cannot, as I said before, cannot put food, cannot give wife money, cannot give wife anything to prepare for the food, yet the woman will still struggle and do what? And make way. So men, you should honor the women. You should honor the mothers. It is time for us to say to them that they are precious in our life. They are precious in our life. Anywhere you are, wish your mothers. Wish them Happy Mother's Day. Buy them gift. Celebrate with them. Those that have no mother, find somebody, find woman in that is that have the love in your life. Celebrate her. 
She is your mother. She is the one representing your world, your mother. In the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 26, he said, With man, it is impossible to run the affairs of home. With man, it is impossible to run the affairs of home. Now I'm speaking to mothers. But with God, all things are what? Possible. As I said before, and according to my topic, you can still work things out. I know that most of mothers sometimes struggle. Why they struggle? Because of circumstances, either because of the nature of things, either because of the husband, or because of the children. And you are about to give up the, because of stress. You are about to give up your home. You are about to give up your children. You are about to give up your marriage. You are about to give up everything because of stress, because of difficulties, because of the circumstance that surrounded you. I tell you today and I bring the good news for you. You can still make it. With God, all things are, pos all things are what? Possible. Matthew 19 verse 26. With God, all things are what? Possible. But with men, it is impossible. Those impossibility in your life, those impossibility in your family, in your home, those impossibility that surrounded you, it is impossible because you are seeing it as a man. But God, when you look unto God, when you place it before God, when you make it before God, when you let God to take over it, it is very, very possible. God will take away that yoke. God will take away that trouble. God will take away that anxiety in your entire family, in your home, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, because mothers are blessed and favored today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Philippians 4.13, as he said, he said, you can do it. You can handle everything in your home. You can handle the affair of your marriage. You can handle the affair of your home. You can handle your business. You can do it by the strength of God. Receive the strength right now, wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the strength any place you find yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah, in the book of 1 Samuel, sorry, in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 10 to 20. There was a woman called Hannah. The Bible said that Hannah, he married to Ekana. And Ekana married to Hannah and Ekana also married to Penina. He had two wives. Hannah being the first, she was barren. And Penina, the second, she had children. And this become a trouble in the life of Hannah. Hannah don't know where and what to do than to trust God for help. Hannah began to walk this out through God and through the divine help of God, God perfected it. Hannah dedicated herself to God. Hannah trusted God. Hannah began to follow God. Hannah began to believe the impossibilities that surrounded her life as a mother and as a wife and as a woman. Every woman is blessed. That is why their strength is big and their strength is heavy. Women, they are blessed. Mothers are blessed with strength. Mothers are blessed with achieving the aim and accomplishing their responsibility. That is why no matter how a woman is tired, whenever she come back home, she still need to take care of the husband. She still need to take care of her children. She still need to take care of her home. And she need, still need to take care of herself. Because they are blessed. And Hannah knew this. And she began to work it out. She began to work it out. She started going to Shiloh for prayer. And with the help of priest Eli. And she was helped. She was assisted both in prayer, both in counsel. And at the end, she made it. She made it. That's why when you go to verse 21 to 30 of that first Samuel chapter 1, she dedicated Samuel 
as the first child, as God has given it as a gift, as she received the gift, she dedicated it unto God. He said, God, this is what I ask and you give to me. Therefore, I dedicated him unto you as a gift to you. Why? Because of what the Lord has done. God opened up her womb. God restored her. God grant her desire. Why? Because she knew that she can still work it out. Receive the help of God. Every woman, every wife, every mother in the world, viewers all over the whole world, wherever you are, as I join my faith and everyone will join our faith together and pray for you. Receive the strength. Receive the ability to begin to walk this out. Remember, God has blessed you. And from today, you are taking your position. From today, you are taking your place of inheritance and your place of position, your place of blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive it. All the mothers in the whole world, receive your blessing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You see, you can see that Hannah was blessed because she knew that God doeth the things that are impossible before men. When you read the book of James chapter 4 verse 8a, he said, draw near to God. He said, he will draw near to to you. He will draw near to you. So when we draw ourselves near to God, because that is the basic and the most important thing. See, we can't walk this out without God. There is no way we can achieve anything. There is no way you can manage your affair of your home. There is no way you can manage your husband. You can manage your children. You can manage yourself. And you can manage all the affairs of home without God. It is impossible. That's why the Bible says, say with men, they are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. With God, everything in your home, it is what? Possible. It is possible. Today, I want you to believe God and believe God in totality. Things can still get better. Everything around you can still get better. You can still work it out. You can still make it. You can still bring peace. You can still bring restoration. You can still experience the joy and the peace of God in your marriage and in your life. And I tell you the truth, it is done to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. How do you walk things out in your marriage or in your home? Mothers, how will you or how do you walk all this thing out? How do you walk out the things like crisis? How do you walk out things like there is a broken home or there is issues in your home? How do you walk things out? How do you walk things out in the difficult situation? And everyone also, how do you walk things out? Both men, both female. How do you walk things out? Number one thing I discover from Canaanite woman and from the life of Hannah, these are mothers. These are people who have children. These are people who care for their home. These are people and who care for God. Remember the Canaanite woman, she was not a Christian, but instantly she believed that through Christ, that she can do all things, that through Jesus Christ, that she can make it, she can walk it out through Christ. She has tried her own best by her own ability, but she couldn't, because the Bible says her child was possessed or versed with evil spirit. And this thing has been happening and has taken a long time in her home, and she has become restless she has become and be in a difficult situation and they cannot help herself but jesus help her you see the same god will help you today the same jesus will help your marriage will help you today all the mothers i declare upon your life that the help of god you will not lack in the name of jesus number one thing you need to do is to have the hunger for change have the hunger for change of your family
Have the hunger for change of your marriage. Have the hunger of change of the circumstances. The hunger is very, very important. You can see that the Canaanite woman in that book of Matthew, chapter 15, the Canaanite woman, she was so desperate. She was so desperate. Even when they tried to push her, she was desperate. He wanted to meet Jesus. Because why? She had the hunger. She had the hunger that there must be a change in her family. Her child cannot remain like this. Her child cannot be possessed with evil spirit. She cannot open her clear eyes and see her child, her own child being destroyed. That is why the Bible say in the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15, it says, can a mother forsake her child? No, the mother cannot forsake her child. That is why the woman she desperately press on work it out for the betterment of the family and the betterment of the child so now one of the things that you need to do as a mother in regard of every situation you are going through you must have the hunger for change for your family the hunger for change for your children not to cause your children, not to lay cause on your husband, not to every time say all kind of negative word to your husband and to your children, but for you to have a hunger of blessing for them. Every time you must have a wish, you must have a blessing of their awareness and have a wish of their awareness and have a wish of their goodness. That's what you should have hunger for. Any woman, any mother that have the hunger for prosperity for his children, he have the hunger, she have the hunger for awareness of his of her children. I tell you the truth, her children will prosper. Her home will make prosperity because every time she has this hunger for her children to do all to prosper. What you wish, that is what come to you. What you wish is what come to you. The Bible says you shall declare a thing, it shall come to pass. You shall declare a thing, you shall say a thing, it shall come to pass. Anything you propose for your children, that is how it is. Anything you propose for your home, that is how it is. And I, I'm sure that your desire, your hunger is that Prosperity will be the portion of your household. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 174, it say, David say, I long for salvation. Oh Lord, your law is my delight. You see, the hunger of David, hunger of David for God, hunger of David for God. Mothers, if you don't have hunger for a change, a hunger for God, Hunger for light in your family, hunger for prosperity. It is impossible for you to experience it in your marriage and in your home. So I'm speaking to you today that you must have this hunger within you. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 6, it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what? For good things, for righteousness. Blessed are those who hunger and or test for good things for they shall be filled they shall be all filled i repeat again blessed are mothers who hunger for good things who hunger for well-being of their children blessed are mothers who hunger for the well-being of their husband blessed are mothers who hunger for the well-being and for prosperity for their household, he said, they shall be filled with it. They shall be filled with it. They shall be filled with it. In other words, it shall be granted to them. I pray with you, all the mothers all over the whole world, as you begin to have the hunger and the appetite for a change, for working things out in your home and around you, you shall prosper, you shall be filled, it shall be granted to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, continue to have the hunger for change in your home concerning the affairs of your home. Always have the thought of change. Always think of changes. And I tell you the truth, 
God will bring changes in your home, in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus. Number two thing that you need to do as how do we work things out? In accordance to the place we read the story of Hannah and the story of a Canaanite woman, uh, they are mothers. So you, what you need to do is seeking the Lord diligently all the time. Seeking the Lord all the time. When you seek the Lord, you seek wisdom. When you seek the Lord, you seek the right spirit. When you seek the Lord, you seek the right word to speak. You seek the right application to apply to every circumstance that arises in your home affair, in your marriage, and in your children affair. You will always receive from God because you seek Him diligently. That's why the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, it says, but seek Him first the kingdom of God, seek Him first the Lord. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Now, if you need peace in your marriage, in your home, if you need changes, if you, you, you determine and you have the hunger to work things out, you need to seek the Lord first. You need to seek God first because He is the one that will bring the divine knowledge, divine wisdom, divine application that you will use to apply to have solution in that circumstances. You must seek the Lord daily Gently all the time. Every mother must seek the Lord. Here in abroad, I see that men they seek the Lord more than mothers. Fathers seek the Lord more than mothers. But in Africa, I tell you truth, mothers seek the Lord. That's why when you enter any church, the highest population you see is probably they are female they are mothers why all the time they are desperate all the time they want to seek the Lord why are they seeking the Lord because they have a multitask they have many things to do they have their husband the affairs of their husband to run the affairs of the children to run the affairs and the management of home to run and also the affairs of their home you can see the multitask of mothers that's why they need to seek the Lord. When you enter some places, some house of God, you see that mothers, their population are higher than fathers. Why? Mothers, they have to seek the Lord all the time. They have to seek for the help of the Lord. And that is the only way they can able to work things out. If you are a mother, you must know this. You must always seek the Lord. The one that bring wisdom and bring help. The one that gives strength. Seek him all the time. And he will bring and he will give you and grant all your heart desire. In the book of Psalm, in the book of Psalm chapter 37 verse 4, he said, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. Take delight. In other words, seek him. Seek him. That's why the Bible said that they that diligently seek the Lord, he said they will find rest, they will find him, they will find peace. They that seek him, they will find solution. In the book of Psalm 34 verse 4, David said, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all fear and from all trouble. I sought the Lord and he answered me. If you need an answer to a particular problem in your home as a mother or as a wife or as a woman or even as a man as you are watching me right now, seek the Lord. He will bring an answer to you. He will answer you and he will bring the answer. Number three things, how do we work things out in our life as a mother or as we join the mothers? Because as you are listening, you are learning also. You must embrace honesty, 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 honesty. You must remain worthy all the time. Let every word that comes out of your lips be honest. Let your heart be pure with honesty. Every mother must be honest to their children. They must be honest to their husband. They must be honest to the affairs of home. They must be honest. 
when they are working things out. They must be honest in all indication. Proverbs 12, 22. He said, the Lord detests a lying lips. The Lord detests a lying lips, but he delight in people who are trustworthy. If you are a mother and you are lying to your children, you are engaging yourself. You are lying to your husband, you are engaging yourself. You are lying to your home, you are engaging yourself. You are putting yourself into prison. You are imparting your children and raising up a generation that will end up in destruction. So I encourage all the mothers, all those endeavor to be honest in your home. Be honest in the affairs of your home. Honest to your husband. Be honest to your children. And be honest to yourself. I tell you the truth. God we always bless you. Matthew 5, 8, he said, Blessed are pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are pure in heart. Matthew 5, 8, he said, They shall what? See God. Blessed are the honest. They shall see God. What do you mean by they shall see God? They shall see good things. They shall reap good things. They shall encounter good things. Because why? They are honest. I encourage all the mothers, be honest to your husband. Be honest to your home. Be honest to your children. Be honest. Don't lie to your husband. No matter how it is, don't lie to your husband. When it comes to anything but money, both in anything but in talk, don't lie to your husband. Mostly, women now, ladies now, they lie when it comes to money. It is time for you to change. It is time for you to do what? To change. It is time for you to know that God has given you blessing. God has given you responsibility to bring out good product, to produce and to make out betterment of future for children and for family. That is why God said man cannot live alone. Therefore, I assign a helpman. I assign somebody who will make him to fulfill. If you are a lying mother and a lying woman, how will you help your husband to fulfill destiny? How will you raise up a home in fulfillment of destiny? How will you raise up a better home? Mothers, you should in all ways avoid lying lips and lying tongues. Be honest in all your ways. Proverbs 16, 28, he said, A perverse person stir up conflict, and a gossip separate close friends. Mothers who are gossipers, mothers who are always lie, it always bring conflict home. If you are a wife who always lie, it will always end up conflict. If you are a mother who always lie and gossip, you always create trouble. That's why today we have a lot of trouble home. You see, why do we have a trouble home today? It's as a result of mothers and fathers. If mothers, fathers, if they are honest to each other, there will be no trouble in the affairs of their home. There will be no trouble in the affairs of their surrounding. Even also fiancés, you know, a boy and a girl that is caught in, if two of you are honest to one each other, I tell you the truth, your relationship will bear fruit and will manifest to the age of marriage. You see? So now, but if you are lying every day, now we have handful. Now we have every time SMS, you know, you are lying through your phone. You have another secret uh, uh, boyfriend or another secret friend somewhere and you are hiding for your husband. You are destroying your home. You are destroying the life of your children. You are destroying your relationship with your family, with your husband, with your fiance. You are destroying it. So desist from it. And I pray that God will help you to change wherever you are. God will help you to work out things. In the name of Jesus Christ, every mother in the whole world, I decree upon your life, God will help you out wherever you are. Wherever you are lying, wherever that you are being perverted, may God deliver you today. In the name of Jesus. Number four, you must avoid side distraction. When they try to press the woman, when they try to ask her, get out 
of our midst. Stop shouting. The woman refused. It still continue. There are many distractions. Mother, there are many distractions. Even in our life as a young man and young girls, there are many distractions. Devil, he came to stay to destroy and to kill. Devil will certainly come and distract you. Devil will not come by himself. He will send somebody. He will send somebody to your organization, to your business to distract you. To your marriage, to your relationship to distract you. Devil uses human being. That is why always desire to know who is that person distracting your marriage. Who is that person that is distracting your relationship. Who is that person that is distracting your business. That is distracting your home. Today. As Jesus said in Matthew 15, 13, he said, every plant that my father did not plant it, it shall be what? Uprooted. It shall be what? Uprooted. It shall be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, in Matthew 19, 5, the Bible says, man shall leave his own parents and shall unite to his wife. He said, him and his wife, they shall become one. And the Bible said that what God joined together, he said, they shall be no asunder. Every third party in your home, in your marriage, that is bringing destruction, today I end their mission. Today I destroy their work. Today I destroy their assignment. They will not exist again. Receive peace in your marriage. Receive peace in your home. All the mothers, whatever you are, whatever that is distracting your life, whatever that is distracting your home, today Jesus has brought peace into your life. Receive that peace in the name of Jesus. That third party, that strange woman, that strange man that is distracting you as a mother, Rabba Kute Santia Bragada Bozondo, I end their mission in the name of Jesus. I end their mission in the mighty name of Jesus. Never give room for destruction. Never give room for destruction. Proverbs 4 25. He said, Keep your eyes straight ahead. Every mother, keep your eyes straight ahead, working things out for the well being of your family. Keep your eyes straight ahead to the wellness of your husband. To the blessings of your husband. Keep your eyes straight. Never you get distracted. Never you get distracted with gossip, with wrong informations. And I pray that God will help you. In the name of Jesus, Galatians 5, 7, the Bible says, it says, you were running well before. He <laughs> said, who hindered you? Who hindered you from obeying the truth? You were running well before. There are people, you were in good relationship with your family. You were in good relationship with your children. You were in good relationship with your husband. But now, no more. Who hindered you? That hindrance has taken away today. That hindrance and obstacle has taken away today. In your home, in your family, it has taken away right now. I destroy every work of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, Psalm 119 verse 37, he said, turn away, they be talking, my eyes from looking at vanity things, and revive me in your ways. May God revive you in his ways. May you not be distracted anymore. May no power, no force distract you anymore. In the name of Jesus, every distractions in your life as a mother, Whatever that is distorting your peace, whatever that is distorting your peace, it is clear the way today. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive peace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Number five thing you need to do to work things and continue to work things out is encourage yourself. Encourage yourself always. Encourage yourself always. Even when husband cannot encourage you, you see, that's why I tell you that even when husband cannot put food on the table for the family, yet the mother will strive. The mother will struggle. I remember then days when we are in the village. We are 11 children. We are 11 children. Sometimes we eat in one plate. 11 children eating one plate. Imagine how 
mothers could provide such food to feed 12 disciples to feed 11 children how could she manage to make provision the food uh, uh, we have a breakfast we have lunch we have dinner check it preparing food three times in a day for 11 children it is not easy i want you to know it is not easy every mother encourage you learn how to encourage themselves and learn how to encourage yourself all the time second chronicle 15 7 he said but as for you be strong and do not give up do not be wary do not give up for your work will be rewarded you will eat the fruit of your labors i pray for you you mothers no matter your struggle right now i tell you the truth from your sweat from your labor god will make you eat those things you have labor for in the name of jesus you will not die before you ask time you will eat the labor of your children you will eat the labor of your husband you will eat the labor of what you have labor for you will eat all the fruit of what you have labor for in the name of jesus christ you will not die you will witness the prosperity of your children you will witness the fruit of all what you have labor for in the name of jesus christ father we thank you lord for i know women and ladies are encouraged first thessalonians 5 11 he said therefore encourage one another and build one another husband man this is the time even children he said encourage encourage your mothers encourage them encourage remember sometimes their hand becoming weak sometimes they feel weak you need to encourage them this is where husband if you are beating your wife i tell you truth you are worse than dog if you are beating your wife you are not doing yourself good things why because you are not bringing encouragement mothers are to be encouraged encourage stand with them as they also encourage you stand with them all the time don't give them trouble don't give them trouble and also mothers don't give your husband trouble don't give your home trouble continue to encourage yourself in every circumstance don't lose heart and don't give up in that first samuel hannah kept encouraging herself Hannah kept encouraging herself. But one thing I know again, in that first Samuel chapter 1, the Bible says, Encarnate the husband. Despite that Hannah did not have children, but whenever Encarnate bring gift, he make Hannah own bigger than the one that have children. See, why? Encarnate keep on, the husband keep on encouraging her. Keep on encouraging her. Encourage her in the midst of circumstances. So, men, fathers, it is time for us to begin to encourage our mothers, encourage our wife, encourage our fans, ladies' fans, encourage them all the time. Know when they are becoming weak, know when things are not going well in them, know when they have anxiety, encourage them. They are the you are the people they are looking up to and you are the people that god will use to bring encouragement in their life and also you are the people that devil will use to continue to cause trouble in their life we women and mothers i encourage you continue to encourage yourself continue to encourage yourself god will bless you that's why ephesians 5 25 he said husband love your wife as christ loved the church and give himself up for her love your wife children love your mothers love your mothers love your mothers husband love your wife love your mothers and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ amen now mothers should remain humble even wife as well they should remain humble humility this is where submission come from mothers also should submit to their husband even also humble to their children and their children continue to humble and respect them and as their husband continue to humble them love them and respect them the book of james chapter 4 verse 10 he said humble yourself in the sight of the lord and he shall lift you up 
Humble yourself in the sight of your husband. Humble yourself in the sight of your home. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Ephesians 5, 22. Ephesians 5, 22. Say, wife, submit yourself unto your husband as unto the Lord. Submit yourself. When you go to verse 23, he say, husband is the head of wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. You see, so now never you remove the place of a man. Remember that man is your head. Continue to humble yourself, continue to submit. I tell you to go with always honor you, go with always lift you up. If you are a type of mother or a woman who does not humble herself and who does not respect her husband, who does not submit to her husband in totality, I tell you truth, you will not make it. As a wife and as a mother, you will not make it. Your children will be a rebellion to you. There will be a time your children will be cursing you. They will turn against you. Why? Because you did not humble yourself. You did not submit to your husband. So your children will be beating you. Your children, they will be rude to you. Your children, they will be bad to you. Why? Because you are bad to your husband. I encourage you, never you be bad and continue to humble yourself. Then number seven, you need to remain tolerant. Persevere. Remain tolerant. Bearing with others. Bearing with your husband. Bearing with circumstances. Colossians 3.13. He says, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Do not keep anger and hurting long time in your heart. Be tolerant. Every mother should be tolerant. Hebrew 10.36. He says, for you have need of endurance. So that when you have done the will of God, he said, you may receive what is promised. Endure. Mothers are to endure. That is why the book of Proverbs 16, 12, he said, gracious words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to sow and to the head of the body. These is are the women. These are the mothers who always speak good things. Mothers who continue to tolerate. Even when they are angry, they don't speak bad words. So mothers are encouraged to be tolerant and action. Do not only talk, take action. The woman of Canaanite, he took an action, he pressed for that. And he began to work things out. James 14, 17, he says, So whoever knows the right thing to do and fail to do it for himself, he said, it is a sin. Whoever knows the right thing to work out, the right thing to do and he fail to do it, he said, you deceive yourself. And it's a sin. And it will lead to failure. So mothers are always action. They always action to take action all the time, to take step of faith, to make impact. You know, mothers are to always take step of faith. That is why God made them. So never you, in any condition, relent effort. See the woman, she was desperate. She was pressing. She was pressing to make sure that her child is well her child receive healing that is the purpose you see so now i encourage you ladies do not be lazy and do not relent effort james chapter 2 verse 18 he said we show our faith by our works what is our work our action the woman was moving he didn't stay one place he didn't stand one place and hoping that jesus will come to her no she continued to move forward you will move forward in your life, in your marriage, in this season, in the name of Jesus. So now you need to know this in James chapter 1, verse 22. He said, But the doers of the word, and he said, Be a doers of the word, and not a hearer only deceiving yourself. Take action in every area of your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to pray as we lift up our hand. Let's pray for all the mothers. Lord, we decree and declare all the mothers all over the whole world. May God bless you all. May God increase you. May God impart wisdom upon your life. Lift up your hands. Father, I declare and declare upon the mothers all over the whole world, in the universe from the east, west, north, and south, I declare upon your life that today, anything that is not going well, I speak grace 
I speak power, I speak strength. From today, may it begin to go well. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Isaiah 49, verse 15, he said, Mother cannot forsake her child. And why? Because they have the passion for them, they have the love for them. I pray, may you receive more passion and more love of God upon your life. You will continue to love your children and love your home. You continue to make impact in your home. You continue to make impact in every area of your life and affairs of your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray and lift our hands. Declare blessings. Declare more grace upon them. Father, we declare blessings and more grace upon the mothers all over the whole world. Receive more grace. Receive more strength. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to thank all the mothers and I want to wish you all happy Mother's Day. You are blessed. You are wonderful. We love you all. You are precious. You are too powerful. And by the power and the unity of faith that worketh in us, we join all our heart and say happy Mother's Day to you all and more blessing and more grace. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 All the mothers, I love you all. May God bless you all. May God increase you all in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the FCCI, may God bless you all. May God increase you. This week, there is a good news coming your way. And you shall receive them. In Jesus' name, I pray. It. Amen. Say, I am blessed. Say, this week I am favored. Say, this week I will celebrate. Say, no evil shall come near me this week. No evil, no virus, no sickness. Lord, I take refuge in you. I am secured in your hand. I am covered by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Everyone that is sick of virus, be healed. And anyone that has the symptom, be healed. You are delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you for as many who join this service. Wherever you are, wherever you stay, you are covered by the blood of Jesus. You are covered by the grace of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus. You are loved by God. God loves you most. And also, I love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Remember, bless. Remember, bless.